Hey, guys! Hey! Today we decided to get together as a foursome to have some fun. Who has any suggestions for today? We can go play outside. Yeah, like soccer or hide and seek. Why don't we go somewhere in the mountains? JJ, do you have any suggestions? Honestly, I would stay home and just watch cartoons. Can't we do something active? What's going on? Is that an earthquake? I don't understand anything. What is it? I don't know. Maybe just an earthquake. Mikey, look out the window and see if there's anything. Take a look if you don't mind. I don't see anything. It's business as usual. What was it then? I don't know. Maybe an airplane just flew by? Then it must have traveled underground to shake us like that. A winged subway. I'd like to ride one of those. And you're dreaming as always. Uh, guys, check it out. JJ, you need to see this. Oh my god, this is breaking news! Let's turn it up and see what happened. It could be an emergency. Turn it up. A large meteorite fell in our county today. The exact location of its fall is unknown. It was flying in a southerly direction. If you find him, please notify the police immediately. It is forbidden to cover him. A large reward has been announced for help in finding him. Call anytime. So that's what that rattling was. I feel kind of bad now. It's certainly very scary. Yeah, it's creepy. Can't we all just change the channel already? Yes, JJ, please. Yeah, one second, literally. Okay, I'm done. Now comes the cartoon. Much more interesting. Yeah, it's more enjoyable. Oh, haven't we been sitting here long enough? I don't know. What time is it? Evening is coming. We have to get ready for bed. It's getting really late. We should go. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by to visit. Are you sure you're going already? Yeah, let's get out of your way. Well, all right. I'll see you later then. Bye for now. I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you the other day. I have a feeling I'll be seeing you much sooner. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later if you need anything. And what are you up to, Mikey? Okay, I don't think anyone's eavesdropping on us right now. I feel bad. Why did you kick the guys out? Listen to me, JJ. You and I have to find that meteorite. Are you going to look for him? Yeah, we know roughly where it fell. I saw a familiar spot on the news. A questionable endeavor, but I'm in. What are they talking about? What about the guys? Should we call them? We won't tell them anything. Oh, you. If we keep quiet, we take all the bounty. I didn't expect them to do that. What are we going to do? You and I are going on a journey. What do you mean? We can't let them find the meteorite before we do. I like your suggestion. So there's not a second to lose. Then let's go and take all the bounty for ourselves. Let's go. Now let's see the approximate location on the map. Come on, you've got a map, haven't you? Of course I have a map. How accurate is it? It depicts our entire neighborhood. Get her out. The news said it fell on the south side. It could be anywhere, even in the woods. We got a good shake when he went down. So what's next? That means he's not far away. Let's go to the river. It's decided, so we're going to the river. We have to hurry. We can't let anyone find him before we do. Then what's the holdup? Let's go now. Yeah, let's go. If we find it, how do we tell them we found it? I brought my cell phone with me in case I needed it. I can see that you did a great job preparing for the hike. Of course, we have to do everything first. Well, I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of fun. No other way. Where are we going to look for him? Just like they said on the news, southbound. But that's a relative concept. Don't be stupid, Nico. We'll go with you to the river. Okay, I hear you. Then let's go with you faster. We can't let them get ahead of us. You and I are faster and smarter than they are. Two hours later. We've got to be somewhere close by now. Can you see or hear anything? I smell a little smoke, but I can't see anything. We should take a better look around. I think so, too. JJ, I think I found it. Look, what's that over there? This looks like exactly what we've been looking for. Let's take a closer look. You don't think it's dangerous? We're not going to get close. We're just going to take a better look. All right, let's see. Look at the size of it. What does that mean? That means we're going to get paid a lot for it. When are you going to tell the police we found him? Let's do it later. I want to savor this moment some more. I suggest we do it now to avoid trouble. What kind of trouble could we be in? I feel like anything can happen. Like what? Uh... Hey, you, get away from our meteorite. Like this one. We are the ones who found him, and the reward should be ours. JJ, what do we do now? Stand up for what's right, Mikey. Holy turtles. What do you want here? We found him first. No, we're the ones who found the meteorite. Go get some sleep. You don't seem to be awake yet. It's our meteorite. Get away from it. This is our discovery. You're stupid. We're the ones who discovered it first. We've seen it before you. It's our meteorite. You can't just take it for yourself. This is bullshit. We found it too, so we must have it. Mikey, call the police. Let them deal with these stupid guys. Yeah, now, 911. 911, what's your emergency? We found a meteorite. Send the police. The police are on their way to you. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're waiting for you. That's it. The police will deal with you in no time. She's going to give us an award. 
Don't get your hopes up. There's no way we're giving in to you. Five minutes later. That's it. You'll be without a meteorite for sure. The police will definitely get to the bottom of this now. We're not giving up that easily. So what are you going to do? We'll fight to the very end. Well, we're about to find out. Here come the police. Now we're going to take your award away from you. We'll see about that. You think too highly of yourself. Good afternoon. Hello. Here's the meteorite that fell today. Hmm, let's see. We're the ones who found him. Let's go get him, Nico. How do I get an award for it? Have you looked at it yet? How do I get an award? Yes, that's him. Who found him? We are. We, it's us. We are. Why are you lying? We're not lying. It's our meteorite. But we found it too, so it's ours too. No, it's ours. Officer, will you take care of this? Then it's different. Who saw him first? Mikey and I were the first to find him. Then you will receive the reward. <gasps> Great, we're ready to accept a finder's fee. It's just unbelievable. We did it with you, Mikey. Did we lose cash? Here's your reward. Now I have to go. All right, officer, thank you. You won't get away with this. But we have the award. Come on, JJ. We got nothing to do with these losers. Yeah, let's go. We're not losers. So, JJ, let's go buy something cool, huh? We went to the store. Bye, losers. What would you like to buy yourself? Let's hide them today and go to the store tomorrow. What do you suggest we do, Cash? I'm not going to let this go. What are we going to do in this situation? At night, we'll take our diamonds for ourselves. Are you suggesting we sneak into their house? Yeah, and take our diamonds for ourselves because we earned them. Let's go. I can't believe we found that meteorite. Mikey, this has been a truly amazing adventure. And what a reward we got for that find. Where do we hide the reward? As long as they don't bug us anymore. Looks like it's all clear. I suggest we hide them in the chest in the room. We can make many of your dreams come true. Just unbelievable. Let's hide everything now and go to bed. We must sleep carefully and attentively. The chest is next to me. Well, I'm counting on you. All my diamonds are safely hidden in a chest. That's good. Let's go to bed then. Yes, I agree. Let's go to bed. Maybe we'll buy new telescopes and go in search of new discoveries. Tomorrow we'll decide what we're going to do. Good night. It's time to execute our plan. I think they're asleep. I'm really worried. What if we get caught? Don't worry. We'll do it quietly and quickly. Okay, I trust you. Let's do this. We must return our reward by all means. I agree with you. Okay, they said they'd hide it in the safe. Where do you think he might be? I don't think they'd leave him unattended. Then let's go look in their room. That's a great idea. Let's go take a look over there. Seems like they should be in this chest. Open it quietly so you don't wake them up. Bingo, they're here. Are we going to be rich now? And even very rich. Let's get out of here before they wake up. Yeah, let's get out of here. The key is for us to hide it for a while. Why would you do that? Why don't you just go straight to the store? We can't let them realize it's us. <clears throat> I think you and I are in trouble. How far are you going? Did you think we were that stupid? We saw you eavesdropping on us. How stupid do you have to be to think we're just going to give you the diamonds? You've gotten yourself into a lot of trouble. What do we do with them, Mikey? We certainly don't talk to them. <laughs> You and I did a great job. We were able to get our diamonds back. We're good, Mikey. Now it's time to get them out of here. Totally agree with you. Let's chase them away. Hey, get up. What do you have to say for yourself? We are guilty before you. What else? That's all there is to it. These are our diamonds. You're disgusting. Get out of here. They'll still be ours. Be afraid to walk down the street. What are you, Mortal? Get out of here, you stupid boys. Look at those frightened rabbits run. Ha <laughs> ha, that's for sure. All right, let's go home. Yes, let's go. Now that's a lesson we taught them. That's right. They won't be coming to us for a long time. Let's go to bed. It's getting late. Of course, let's go to bed already. Let's hide the diamonds again. You think it's reliable? They're definitely not coming back today. Well, all right, let's hide it. It looks, uh, reliable. I think it's gonna be okay. What shall we do with you next? My suggestion is to go to bed now and head to the store tomorrow. Sounds like a great plan. Will we take turns being on duty at night? It's not necessary. All right, it's been an interesting day. Thank you for being with us. Write in the comments, have you ever found a meteorite? Today, Mikey and I are starting our day not with coffee, but with toys. Hey, hey, I talked JJ into spending time together with our toys today. That's true, though I'd certainly prefer to go play on the computer more. Let's pick what you want then, JJ. That's great. Then let's you pick what we're going to play. And we're already getting it all in here. 
so we can start playing. Awesome. Kids, I'm home. Did you hear that? Looks like Daddy came home. Yeah, I heard that too. Let's go meet him soon. Let's go, Mikey. There's a reason he's calling us. Maybe something's happened. I think so too, JJ. We should find out. Maybe he bought us some kind of gift, or maybe he just wants to meet us. Hi, Daddy, did you call us? Hey, kids, I had an interesting story. I found a treasure. Cool. I don't really know where to hide it, so I'll take the treasure to the basement. But don't tell anyone in case somebody comes and takes it. Wow. Did you hear that, Mikey? That's great. Now you can buy us a PlayStation 5? What's a PlayStation 5? What are you talking about? Of course not. No toys or consoles. I'm saving this treasure for hard times. Please, Daddy. We really want to. No, don't even ask. I'll go get them so you all won't be tempted. You could have just bought us a present. Come on, guys. No offense, please. We're not offended. Just sad that he won't buy it. That's it. I've hidden the treasure. Now it's in a safe place. Fine. Let's keep them there for a while. Why keep it for nothing? You can just spend it. I think so, too. Go on up to your room, kids. All right. Uh-huh. Come on, JJ. Why is Dad so greedy? He wouldn't lose much if he just bought us a PlayStation 5. I'm very angry with our father. It's not nice. I agree. Where did you go? Wait for me, Mikey. It just makes me want to scream and run around in anger. We don't ask that much. Why is he so greedy to us? I don't understand it either. Let's go get money and buy our own PlayStation. We know where it's hidden. But we can't do that, JJ. It'll be fine. They won't find out for a while yet. No, JJ, I won't do that. It's not nice to steal from our family. Let's go get it. What are you afraid of? We're getting a PlayStation 5. No, you don't have to talk me into it. I won't do it. It's not right. Oh my god, Mikey, you're such a coward. You can think of me that way. Go on, it's bedtime. Yeah, I didn't expect that from you. Well, let's get some rest then. All right. No offense to me for that. Good night to you. Same to you, Mikey. But that's okay. I'll just do it myself tonight and no one will know about it quietly. Okay, I'm awake, it's full night, and everyone should be asleep. Mikey's definitely asleep. Then I can go and collect. Just have to be careful. What would you guys do if you were me? Write your opinion in the comments. And I'll be on my way to the basement to get the money. If Mikey's afraid to do it, then I'll do it alone. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The TV is on, but it's like no one's there. I don't see anyone in the kitchen either. The main thing in this business is to take your time. Haste makes waste. All right, we can go to the basement. And here's the treasure that Daddy found. It's in this chest. We've got to go and get it before someone comes. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. All right, it's done. It was no big deal. But did I do the right thing by taking all the money? Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here, we can run to the room. That's it, the plan is done. All that's left to do is hide that money and go to bed. I'll hide it in Mikey's chest and buy him a present tomorrow. We just have to do it quietly so Mikey doesn't wake up. Great, he didn't hear anything. Now we can go to bed. I did it perfectly. Mikey will be 100% excited about the gift tomorrow. Now we can fall asleep. The next day. Listen, the kids were pretty upset yesterday. Why don't we just buy them a present? Actually, I overreacted yesterday. Let's do that. Great. The kids will love it. They've been asking for a PlayStation 5. You've got enough money to buy them that, right? It's a very expensive gift, of course. But I think, yes, we can afford it. Then I'll go to the basement and take all the money that's in there. Even though it's expensive, it won't be too bad for our kids. Kids are everything in our lives. All right, I think we're all here, so there was no one in the basement. We can go get them. We have to get everything done while they're asleep. All right, let's get the money. Wait, where's all the money? Where'd it go? Looks like some cheeky kid snuck in and took the money. How dare they do that? Just steal everything? Oh, I'm going to give them a hard time. I'm really angry. I'm going to punish whoever stole the family's money. Children, get up quickly. What? What happened? Which one of you insolents took all the money out of the chest? Oh no, how did they know? Now they're going to check it out. JJ, confess, did you steal the money? Don't you dare lie to me, tell me the truth. No, Dad, I didn't take anything. Stop yelling, please don't scare our children. If it wasn't you, then Mikey took it all. Hey, Mikey, come on, wake up. Did you steal the money? What? What happened? What money? Why does he play stupid? He knows what money is involved. Mikey, please tell me, did you take money from the basement? No, I honestly didn't take anything. I slept through the night. I'm telling you he's cheating. Now we'll check in your trunk. Yep, that's what I needed to prove. The little thief has been found. Mikey, I didn't expect this from you. But I didn't take anything, really. I'm not lying. What's this one in my hand? Why do you keep lying? I'm not 
lying to you. I didn't take it. Look at the nerve. Well, what if he really didn't take it? Now we'll punish him. He'll know how to steal from his family. Don't punish me. I'm telling the truth. And he keeps proving something to us. Well, I don't know how to prove it to you. I'm not lying to you. I didn't expect my son to be a thief and a cheat, too. Don't call me that. I don't deserve it. Wait a minute. Let's ask JJ. Okay. JJ, did you see Mikey take the money? Don't just protect your brother. Just tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw him go into the basement tonight. No, 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 no! That's it! So you've been lying this whole time? Follow me, you're grounded! JJ, why would you say that? Why did you lie? Don't talk to him! Get over here! You've disappointed us! You will now live in the pantry! You did a terrible thing! You'll know how to steal money and cheat! Why? JJ tells lies and I don't lie! I don't even want to hear it anymore! Get in the closet! And just try to get out of there! Not until we say so! You've hurt us very badly! We're very angry with you! Please don't leave me here alone! JJ, tell them the truth! I'm not a thief or a liar! We did everything right! I agree with you! JJ, thanks for telling us the truth! You did the right thing! You didn't protect him or lie to him! You did good! We really appreciate it! We are proud of you! Thank you for those words! I think I'm gonna go lie down some more. Yeah, sure, go rest. When you wake up, come downstairs, we'll cook with mom. Yes, son, we'll make your favorite dish. Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Now Mikey will sit there alone for a long time to come. He'll probably be sad, but at least I'll have the whole room to myself. And it's very cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I feel a little bad for Mikey, but at least my parents didn't punish me. That's more important, isn't it? Now I can watch TV and what I want to watch or just sit on the computer. Do you think I did the right thing by turning Mikey in? I think everything's great. <laughs> Why did JJ do this to me? It's not like I did anything wrong. He also lied to our parents. And now I'm sitting here in the closet. Four to six days later. It's been a bunch of time since I've lived alone without Mikey in my room. I'm having a lot of fun living like this. No one gets in the way and you do whatever you want. For example, now I play on the computer and no one asks me to play too. While I certainly feel a little bad that Mikey has been sitting in the closet for so long, I certainly won't be telling my parents parents to let him go. I'd rather sit back and play on the computer. Hey, JJ, come here. We got something to show you. There's something very interesting here. No, thanks. I don't want to. It's much more fun to play on the computer. JJ, distract yourself for not too long. We'll just show you one video and that's it. It literally goes on for 10 seconds. I don't want to watch anything. Please don't disturb me. I have an important assignment. Well, quickly, JJ got the tablet in his hands and watched the video. Don't talk to us like that. We approach you nicely and ask you to do an easy task. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Let me watch your video. Come here. Now we're going to give you the tablet. There's a short but very informative video. You have to watch it. Okay, I got it. Give me the tablet already. I'll see what you're asking. Here you go. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. I mean, this could have been watched at any other time. Now you're going to turn it on. Watch it and you'll understand. All right, I'm turning it on. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The main thing in this business is to take your time. All right, we can go to the basement. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here. We can run to the room. Oh no, I didn't know there was a camera. You stole the money. So it turns out who's a liar and a thief. How dare you do such a thing? I just wanted to give Mikey a present and I hid the money in his trunk. And when you guys showed up, I got scared. That doesn't excuse you. You did a terrible thing, and because of you, your brother was in the closet for days. I understand. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Now Mikey's going to be happy, and you're going to go sit in the pantry. Oh, no. I so don't want that. Let's go free Mikey, and you'll go straight to his place. And you'll be there a lot longer than Mikey. Please don't. I get it. Mikey, son, come here. Am I finally allowed to go out? We've been through the cameras, and we know everything. We believe you now. JJ set you up. You finally believe me. I told you I didn't take anything. You're gonna punish him now, aren't you? Of course. He'll sit there more than you. Yay. I'm really excited about this. Come on in. It's your place now. Please forgive me. I get it. I'll never do it again. Mikey did time for nothing and you'll do time for stealing. I'm scared to sit here. Don't. You'll know how to steal and cheat. And you set me up even though I was right. I've got it all figured out. I won't do it again. But no one listened to me or let me out. 
That's why you're gonna sit here, liar. Stop standing here and jumping. Get out of here, don't mock me. Now I'm the only one left here. I guess I deserved it, unfortunately. Well, wait, what do I have in here? Ha ha ha, it's a tablet. They forgot all about it. Now I'm gonna spend my time here with my tablet. How lucky I am to have this. Hey, liar, give me my tablet back here right now. No, please, let me keep it. You better not make me angry. You deserve to sit here and do nothing. Give it to me now. Okay, don't yell. Hold your tablet. I can live here without it. That's great. You're gonna sit here for a week. More than that, you little thief. We're very angry with you. You set your brother up, you liar. Yeah, I shouldn't have done all that. I didn't even have time to buy anything. The next day... Mikey decided to take me somewhere, but I don't know why. Let's ask him. Mikey, what's going on? Don't panic. I just want to give you a little surprise for you. A uh, surprise at the bank? All previous surprises in my life have always been terrible. You're too pessimistic about everything, JJ. It's definitely not going to be bad for you this time. Um, this is all kind of weird. All right, let's go. Why do we have to go to the bank? You probably want to give me a couple cents as a joke. Don't even guess. You'll never guess what awaits you in this building. Come with me. I have a plan. A uh, what? Why can't we go in the front door? Where are we even going? If I tell you about it now, you won't like the surprise. Um, this whole thing just seems too weird to me. I've prepared the tunnel. We need to go through it. You'll see from here. Uh, why do we have to do all this? I hope you're not robbing a bank. Uh, no. This isn't a robbery. It's just another entrance to the bank. Follow me, JJ. Uh, I don't like this. Why do we have to go down a dirty tunnel? Explain it to me already. You got it right. This is a bank robbery. There's a whole bunch of dollars in there. Just imagine how rich you and I are gonna be. Mikey, you're crazy! No, this is a deeply thought out and ingenious plan. You and I are going to be the richest people in the world. Bank employees are so stupid, they didn't notice that hole in the wall. Yeah, I'm shocked at you, Mikey. So we're gonna rob this bank on the sly? But how do you open the next door? Boy, next door won't be much of a problem for us. I've heard that phrase somewhere, but you need a pin code to get through. There's no other way in. You're wrong. There's one cool way to open that door. What's that way? A very cool and effective way, I'll tell you. It's dynamite. Oh my god, you're gonna blow up this whole bank with us? No, you're gonna do it. Why me? This is your plan. Stop arguing. You need to plant a bomb right on that door. Stop stalling, JJ, or the guards will be here soon. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. What if it explodes too fast? I have a five second timer set there. We can get a safe distance. Okay, I'd get as far away from this house as possible. Um, I thought the explosion would be bigger. Wow, there's so much money. Way to go, JJ. That's enough money to last us a lifetime. How are we supposed to take all this stuff with us? These are huge stacks of money and gold bars. Oh my god, JJ, you're always so stupid. Just break the money blocks and put it in your pocket. Seriously? It doesn't work like that in real life. And we're not in real life. We're in Minecraft life. Okay, I'll try. Five minutes later. Here we are with all the money in this vault. I told you we should have just broken the money blocks. You're right, but there was so much money here that my pockets are already completely full. We need to get out of here. Otherwise, the sound of noise could attract the police. Well, yes, because we exploded a powerful bomb here. Although those stupid guards didn't even hear it. These are the most useless guards in the world. And you were afraid that we would be caught and put in prison. This money is literally pouring out of my hands. Well, it's not every day that I rob a bank with you. I hope we don't have to do this anymore. Oh my god, where did all the money in the bank go? There were huge piles of dollars right there. And now there are two to three bills lying around here. The robbers were unable to take everything with them. Detective work is hard, you know. I need more evidence to find out who could have done this. Good afternoon, detective. The robbers acted quietly and smoothly, but we found out how they got here. And how did they do it? Follow me. They were real diggers. It was not easy to dig such a tunnel. Here they went into the bank vault. Um, how did the bank security not notice this hole earlier? It is amazing. I think I should walk through this tunnel. Maybe I'll find some clues. Oh my god, what a deep tunnel this is. Surely I'm dealing with some kind of professional robbers. If I catch them, I will definitely receive a bonus to my salary. So the robbers made an entrance right outside the bank fence? Oh my god, the security guards don't do anything here at all. No fingerprints or footprints. I don't know how to find them. Oh, what is this? I think I found my first clue. A bunch of small bills are lying on the ground. It looks like the robbers didn't notice this when they took the money to their hideout. So these thieves are not smart at all. I think I can follow this money trail after them. Three hours later. They've already dropped thousands and thousands of dollars. With each bill, I become more and more convinced that this 
this is their first robbery. All this money belongs to the bank. I'll put these guys in jail. Oh, and this is where this trail of bills ends. This is the home of those thieves. I thought it was some kind of abandoned old building. And this is some kind of house for small children. House in the shape of a rabbit. How ridiculous this is. We have so much money. With this money, we can buy ourselves a million burgers, a powerful computer, a game console, and much more. Oh yeah, your surprise was the coolest, Mikey. Okay, let's go to bed already. Fine. Oh, who else has come? I wasn't expecting any guests today. I'm somehow getting scared. After all, we just robbed a bank. Maybe it's just the delivery guy who got the wrong address. Maybe we shouldn't open the door. I really don't like this, Mikey. Stop being afraid of everything in the world. JJ, you are such a coward. I'm not a coward. What if there are a lot of police there and we have a lot of cash on hand? Better hide it in my pockets. We'll quickly see who's calling and close the door. All right, let's go. You're under arrest. Hands in the air. What's going on? You stole all the money in the bank. This is a felony. You're going to jail. But we didn't do anything. All we did was play on the computer at home all day. There's nothing to put us in jail for. You're lying. There's a trail of bank money leading to your house. What kind of money? You're lying and making things up. I'm sick of all this. Stop lying. I need to do a search. You don't have to do that. We don't have anything at home. And that's what we're about to test. Get out of here. I'm going to find this pile of money. You two stupid thieves. All right, then. Let her look for something we don't have. Shut up, both of you. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. We didn't do anything. This is some kind of mistake. Someone set us up. We don't care. Come with us to the police station. We'll sort it out there. Hey, don't touch me. You're hurting me. These handcuffs are too small for me. Because you're fat. Your hands are too big. Eat less burgers. You have no right to insult us. Ha 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 ha. We're entitled to whatever we want. If we find the stolen money, we'll take half of it for ourselves. Good idea, man. I'm a cop just for that. What are you guys talking about? We're in trouble. There's no money here at all. Not a single coin. These guys are totally poor. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Stop whining. Let's go to the police station. We have to question them. I hope they'll talk. What a strict boss we have. She pisses me off so much at times. Hey, actually, I can hear you. Idiots. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. It doesn't matter. Get me to the station now. This is a very serious crime. We have to find that money. Where a whole mountain of money could have disappeared. Now tell me, where is the money from the bank? And what did you do last night? If you don't answer, you'll go to jail. Um, actually, I don't know what happened to your money. It's not my money. This is the bank's money. Well, okay, so be it. You're avoiding the question. Where's the money? Where were you yesterday? Yesterday, I sat at home and played Minecraft. I then fought against a crowd of zombies with a golden sword. What kind of nonsense is this? What should I start with? Yesterday in Minecraft, I started raising pigs because I didn't have any food. And then Mikey killed all the pigs. What does this have to do with pigs? Actually, they were zombie pigs. They cannot be bred. It was against them that I broke my golden sword. It was a shame. Oh my god, tell us about the tunnel. We had one tunnel in Minecraft yesterday. And guess what? Those same unfinished pigs turned out to be there. Stop talking about the computer game. Yesterday, we played Minecraft all day. Let's get back to the pigs. I think these pigs came from a portal to hell. You're both kidding me. I'm talking to you absolutely seriously. Mikey killed all the pigs. I'm so tired of you and your pigs in Minecraft. What did we say wrong? We told you the truth, detective. You will sit behind bars and then decide where you spent so much money. What kind of money? We are poor guys. Poor? You stole a whole vault of money. These bills couldn't just disappear. I will definitely find where you hid them. Hey, don't go. Let us out of here. Oh my God. Looks like we'll never get out of here. And why did I even listen to you? We need some kind of plan to get out of here. How will you do it? The door is closed. There's no way we'll open it. No one will help us at all. You're too excited. It's night now, which means it's time for us to sleep. I don't want to sleep here. It's uncomfortable to sleep behind bars. As you wish, I'll sleep. Are you so indifferent to everything around you? Oh my god, maybe I should sleep too. Um, what happened here? Why are they lying on the floor? Did they really die this night while they were here? Oh my god! Apparently they were too worried when they were sent to prison. It was not clear from them that they were some kind of dangerous robbers. Um, then I need to get rid of the bodies. What happened here? These two guys are dead. I don't even know why. You shouted at them so much yesterday. Apparently they died out of fear of you. Does this happen? Yes. Sometimes it happens if the heart is weak. We need to bury them in the cemetery. They definitely don't belong here. Oh my god, I shouldn't have yelled at them so much. How I feel sorry for them. Arrange for their funeral now. Why should I do this? Oh my god, I hate this job. I got a job as a policeman, not as a graveyard undertaker. Oh! 
Oh, I woke up. Where am I? We were in prison. Are we underground? Mikey is here too. Where did they put us? I don't think this is a new prison. Mikey, get up. We have problems again, and all because of you. Get your turtle butt up. Um, where are we? We're underground, Mikey. What should we do? It was more comfortable in prison than here. Apparently, the police thought we were dead and buried us. But we were still warm. How could they do this? Apparently, they are very stupid. But we have a lot of money. Oh, that's right. They forgot to look in our pockets. Ha ha ha. We are still rich. But what should we do with these riches if we are underground? I don't know. All these pieces of paper are useless. The next morning. It's such a great day to go for a walk. Let's go to Mikey. This is his house. Let's go get him. I have a crazy idea for how we can spend today. Hopefully, Mikey won't be too offended. Let's do it. Hey, Mikey, you home? Hmm. <laughs> Mikey, where are you? Open up, Mikey. Mikey, open the door. What are you yelling about? Oh, hey, Mikey. Hello to you too, JJ. Mikey, look at how great the weather is today. Oh, and it's really nice weather today. My friends invited us to go out on the town. You in, Mikey? Sure, yes, I've been out of town for a while, but how do we get there? That's my car over there, let's take it. Then let's go quickly. I can't wait to get into town. Come on, Mikey, let's go. Is that her? This? Yeah, that's her. By the way, JJ, what kind of friends? You never told me anything about them before. Mikey, don't ask me any questions. Just tell me how you like my car. A car? The car's nice, but I'm really curious about the friends. I'll tell you all about it on the way into town. Hurry up and get in and let's go. JJ, are we going to stop for a meal? Sure, Mikey. We'll have to stop for gas and you can eat there. Cool. I hear gas stations have really good hot dogs. All right, Mikey, buckle up. We're going to go now. All right, JJ, it'll be done. Now we're going to drive back. Don't be too scared, Mikey. Whoa, I never drove backwards. Have you ever ridden in the trunk? Of course not. <laughs> Why did you make fun of JJ? Oh, I was just remembering a joke. You really are weird today. I just didn't sleep well, Mikey. I can get you a coffee at the gas station. Thanks, but don't mention it. I'll be fine soon. All right, well, I hope... We'll be there soon enough, Mikey. Oh, cool. Wow, a police car. I wonder who they're chasing. I think they're chasing thieves or criminals. Wow, there's an ambulance with him. What happened there? I don't know. We'll be going soon. There's a gas station on the left. You can go in and get yourself a hot dog. Really? Because my stomach's starting to sing some weird songs. Look over here, Mikey. There's a gas station I'm going to stop and you can go eat. Yay, I'm finally going to eat. How I've been waiting for this for a long time. Watch out, I'm about to make a turn. Ouch, careful, JJ. Well, I told you. That's it. We're here. Go get some food and I'll get gas. Okay, can I get you anything? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Then I'm off. Don't leave without me. Ha! Well, I'll wait for you here. So where do we go from here? Follow me. I'll show you. All right, JJ. You go over there. Where to? Over there. This way? Yeah, this way. Okay, thank you. Don't stay there too long. All right, I'll try. I'm waiting for you here. Okay. Bon appetit, Mikey. Thank you. It's time to tell you what I came up with. Now Mikey's coming back, and I'm going to put him in the trunk to play a prank. There's plenty of room in my trunk. I think Mikey will be comfortable in there. As soon as he gets back, I'll have him look in my trunk. And as soon as he starts looking, I'll shove him in there. I think it will be very funny and entertaining. JJ, I'm back. Oh, hey, Mikey. Look what I brought with me, JJ. Wow, that looks delicious. I think you could use it. What do you mean, where? Oh, I don't know, but whatever. You can see what's in my trunk. Yeah, sure. What is it? See anything? No, I don't see anything. Take a closer look. I still don't don't see anything. What if you look at it like this? How? There you go. What are you doing, JJ? You'll find out soon enough, Mikey. I'm sorry. Let me out. No, Mikey, as long as you drive here. If you think it's funny, it's not. I'm sorry, Mikey. I'll explain later. Ouch. Drive carefully. I'm uncomfortable. All right. I'll try to drive carefully. You're really weird. Why am I riding in the trunk? Mikey, I'm sorry. We'll be there soon, and I'll get you out of here. It's very hot and cramped, and I'm short of air. Open the window. There's no window. Hey, Mikey, we're almost there. I'm very happy. Why are you so angry? See if you can guess why. I don't know. Wait for Mikey. Turtle, exchange for 64 diamonds. What? Oh, it's okay, Mikey. You're imagining things. JJ, explain what's going on and where you brought me. I can't say it's a surprise. Seriously? What kind of surprise is this that requires me to drive here? Calm down. It's going to be okay. My legs are stiff. I can't walk. It's okay. I'll help. Thank you very much. Let me rest and I'll go on my own. Okay, Mikey. Now I have to go to a place, not me, but us, and we'll go see the surprise. Why did we come to the bank? You're about to find out. Hello, is anyone here? I came from the sign out front. Hello, what can I do for you? 
Hello, I brought you a turtle. What? Okay, Mikey, shh. Okay, he's good for us to get the diamonds for him. You need to put him in our aquarium. Follow me. Yeah, okay, it'll be done now. JJ, I want to go home. Let me go. Mikey, hang on. It's going to be okay. Put it here and let's go to the register. I'll get you a check. JJ, don't do it. I'm scared. I'm sorry, Mikey, but it's the right thing to do. JJ, I'll never forgive you for this. Well, come on in. I'll give you the diamonds. Cool, let's hurry up. Okay, exactly. 64, you can count it. I can't wait to spend it. I understand, so here you go. If you get any more turtles, bring them in. Okay, will do. Thank you very much. No, thank you. We could really use that turtle. Nice doing business with you. Goodbye. Have a good day. Come again. Thanks again. It's my pleasure. Oddly enough, why would they have turtles? I think he's gone. It's time to do evil. A little more, Mikey, and you'll be one of us. What? What's going on? Help me! Let me go! JJ, where are you? Help me! Let me go, you stinking toilet! So, where should I spend these diamonds? I wonder how Mikey's doing. Hopefully he'll be okay and my prank was a success. I'll put the diamonds here for now. What? What's going on in there? Well, check it out. I heard Micah screaming. We need to drop the diamonds and run over there. Hold on, Mikey. I'm on my way. Stay calm. I'll save you. I wonder what could have happened there. We need to help Mikey as soon as possible because he's in trouble. Well, there's no one here, so we should check on Mikey. Mikey? Mikey, you hear me. Give me a sign. What? Where's Mikey? Mikey, where are you? Can you hear me? Have you been kidnapped? We need to find him before this turns into a disaster. What's that? What is it? Could it be Mikey? I don't think anyone's here, so we should go down, check it out. Careful not to make too much noise. What's in there? Let's check it out. Oh, Mikey, I see you. What are you doing here? Why don't you say anything? What is this place anyway? Some big weird stuff. What's up with Mikey anyway? Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh no, I think I got it. We need to hide now and figure out how to save Mikey. But how to get to him? They have him surrounded. What do they want to do to him? I can't just stand here. I have to do something. I'm going to save you, Mikey. I'm going to save you. Think, JJ. Think, what do we do? Maybe there's a vent. I could crawl through it and help Mikey. That's great. Now I'll help him. All that's left to do is open. I have to do it as quietly as possible, or I'll be sitting there with Mikey. God, it's so dusty in here. It's so cramped in here and there are cobwebs all over the place. All right, well, it's worth it that I set Mikey up. How much further to crawl? I'm all dirty and very tired. I think it won't be long before I save Mikey. I hope he forgives me for this prank. If not, he's understandable. Five minutes later. Hey, Mikey, I'm here. I hate you, JJ. You betrayed me and I'm grieving. Calm down, Mikey. I'm here to get you out of here. I was gonna play a prank on you, but it didn't go according to plan. Why did you sell me for 64 diamonds? It was part of a prank, but I didn't know it would turn out this way. Untie me. No problem. Thank you. Gotta run. Where? I don't know. You're from around here. Haha. -ha. Very funny. Gotta think of something before they come back. Maybe there's a way out of here somewhere. Look over there. Oh no, they're here. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but I think we should run away from them. Let's go. What are we doing? Where to? I don't know. We gotta get away from them somehow. They're getting close. Think, Mikey. Follow me, JJ. I found the hatch. Mikey, you're a genius. Goodbye, stinky toilets. I think we're off. I've closed the hatch. They won't catch up with us. Mikey, I'm sorry. I really wanted to play a prank on you in honor of your birthday. Let's not talk about that right now. Our job is to get out of here. All right, we'll discuss it in the car. Mikey, what did they want to do to you? They wanted to turn me into a toilet. Seriously? Yeah, I was really scared. Oh, Mikey, I didn't know it would turn out like this. I heard you screaming. I ran to help. I think I found a way out. Follow me, JJ. Oh, Mikey, you're doing great. It was more like JJ before they opened the hatch. Mikey, I'm really glad we're back together. Yeah, JJ, me too. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Catch up with JJ. I'm getting there, but your heels don't smell good. Here we go, JJ. Mikey, I'm sorry again. It's all right, JJ. Let's go home soon. Where do I sit? In the trunk or can I sit next to you? Huh, sit next to me, buddy. Shall we go home? Yeah, we'll be home soon. I was actually pretty scared when you turned me into the bank. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, the important thing is that everything ends well. Mikey, what do you think of our adventure today? It was very dangerous, but I think tomorrow will be different. Ha 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 ha. I think tomorrow's gonna be a lot more fun. Yeah, that's what I think too. Let's go eat, Mikey. Let's go. One week later. 
I'm on the computer all day today. I want something interesting to happen. I've already played every game I own. I've watched all the jam videos on YouTube. They really lift my spirits. Daughter, hi. Daddy and I have news for you. We decided to go on vacation for a few days. We plan to visit a beautiful resort and relax on the beach. What? That sounds great. When do we leave? You need to get your things together. The machine is almost ready to go. Okay, well, I'll pack up my stuff and go out to the car right now. Do you think she liked our surprise? I think I really enjoyed it. Sitting at home alone all day is pretty boring. Also true, I don't understand why she doesn't have any friends. Maybe she's just bored with them. I'm on my way. I can't believe we're going on vacation. I'll be looking at the beautiful nature we'll be passing through. There she is. I think she's coming. Mom, Dad, I'm ready. That's great. Ready to go on a cool adventure? Of course I'm ready. Let's get going. All right. Everyone fasten your seatbelts. We're going on a road trip. Yay. I'm really excited that we're going on vacation. Now we have the opportunity to just relax and enjoy our vacation. I'm looking forward to being out in nature. In addition, you can admire the beautiful scenery and swim in the sea. A trip like this is the perfect way to switch gears and take your mind off your everyday life. Are we sure we'll get there without a road trip? Well... Hopefully, we won't run into any traffic and everything will go smoothly. Yes, please, no traffic. Don't worry, Afmao. I chose this route to minimize time in traffic. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Look how beautiful the bridge and the nature around it is. Yes, that all looks very cool. Strange, I don't remember a new bridge being built here. Is something wrong? What's going on? The car doesn't drive. I can't handle it. Oh, no, I'm scared. What happened? Where am I? Where are my parents? Uh, what am I supposed to do? How do I get out of here? Ma'am? Dad? Oh no. What do I do next? I don't have the strength to stay afloat much longer. What's that over there? A log? I need to get to it. Barely made it to him. I can at least conserve my energy here. It's so empty and there's nothing around but water. Mom? Dad, uh, where are you? I'm very scared and lonely. Please help me. What am I supposed to do next? I think I'm going to pass out. Three hours later. Where am I? How did I get here? I must have been carried here by the current while I was unconscious. It's so quiet and empty, it makes me a little uncomfortable. I wonder if there are humans here or just wild animals? Staying here is certainly not an option. I have to do something. I'm going to explore this island. Maybe I can find help. This is my vacation. Hey guys! Now Mikey and I are here to go hunting to make our dinner. Hey, hey! JJ, be a little quiet or you'll spook your prey. Don't worry, Mikey. I'll take care of her in no time. Well, then I'll watch you do it, Falcon Eye. Your jokes are inappropriate. Watch how to shoot properly. That was a very good shot. I've been practicing for a long time to shoot like that. Let's hurry up and pick up the meat and go eat it. We've got a great catch today. The boys will be happy. This pig would be a great dinner for everyone. Let's go to the campground. It should be ready to go. I can't remember the last time we had such a good hunt. Have you thought about getting off this island? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't even remember how I got here. Hmm, turns out so am I. Hey guys, you got something? We're all set. Yes, of course. We're having real meat tonight. That's really cool. Get it out quick. We've got a fire going. There's no time to waste. He's about to burn out. The fire is big. Nothing will happen to it. And how did you get the meat? After that. JJ can be called a falcon's eye. Apparently you've distinguished yourself, JJ. There was nothing special about it. I just took a good shot. Then why were your hands shaking so much? What did you say? Hello? What was that? Let's get acquainted, shall we? Alert, a stranger in the village. Take him into custody. He must be eliminated. She's a danger to us. I confirm what you're saying. No, please don't hurt me. Showing up here was a mistake. What are you doing? Are you crazy? She's just a child. Calm down. But how did a child end up here? Tell us how you got here. After the accident, I was at sea, and I was carried by the current to this shore. Well, that sounds very true. What do you suggest we do with her? I think we should help her. Is that what you think? Yes. What do the others think? I agree to help her. I don't think we should leave her alone. Well, then I'll support the others and agree to let you live with us too. 
Thank you so much. Now let's go feed you. You must be hungry. I'd be very grateful to you. It's going to be a very tasty dinner tonight. Yes, we got that today. You'll have to work with us too. Okay, I'm ready to work. I'm glad to hear that. Tell me, what's your name? My name is Amphal. I'm JJ. It's Nico, Cash, and Mikey. It's so nice to meet you. Me too. Dinner will be ready soon. You can look around the village in the meantime. What do you say about her? I don't think she poses any threat to us. I thought she was very sweet and nice too. It may only be at first glance. Let's keep an eye on her anyway. We'll have to show her where she lives. Let's start by feeding her. Look how high I've climbed. Afmau, dinner is ready. Come down to eat. Okay, I'm ready for dinner. Tell me, do you like it on the island? It's very beautiful here. The meat smells so good. We're really glad you like it here, right guys? <laughs> I'm really glad we have a new friend. I'm really glad she's with us too. Let's show her her room. Now we'll take you to the house and you'll be there. What? I'm scared. Why are you going to do this? What do you mean, why? Are you kidding me? We decided to give you your own room since you decided to stay with us. Come on, I'll show it to you. You'll love it. This is so unexpected. Come on, hurry up. Are you really going to give me a room? Yeah, you're one of us now. Whoa. You're going to live here now. That's just great. Thank you. Let's show you inside. You can stay here as long as you want. It has everything you need for a comfortable life. And even more than that, this is so unexpected. I will definitely try to do my best. You'll sleep on the second floor. Let's go show you around. She's so happy we're helping her. It's my pleasure. I'm really glad we have a new friend too. Well, how do you like it here? I really like it here. I'm so glad I met you. You can make yourself at home. I don't know what would have happened to me if it weren't for you. Now you are here and you are safe. You can rest. Thank you so much. Now it's time to rest. We have a busy day tomorrow. JJ, do you think she's doing okay? I think there's nothing wrong with her. What do we do with her next? Why don't we do what we've been planning all along? JJ, are you serious right now? Mikey, I'm kidding. Calm down. We'll go hunting again tomorrow. You're stupid. Here's to why scare me like that. Let's go now and get ready for tomorrow. Yes, I agree. Let's go get ready and then we'll go straight to bed. We should get some rest. So much has happened today. The next day. So, are you ready to hunt with us? Sure, I'm ready. Just let me know what went. That's our goal. Now I'll give you a bow. You draw the bowstring, take aim, and release the arrow. Okay, I get it. Let's give it a shot. Don't miss our target. It's okay if it doesn't work the first time. I think I'm gonna make it. Take your time. That's it. <gasps> Bullseye! Wow, you've got talent! It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. We have to get the meat before the birds get it. You really surprised me a lot. I didn't expect you to make it. I'm really glad you like the way I'm handling this. What's that noise in the distance? I don't know, but I don't think it will lead to anything good. Anyway, we need to see what's out there. What is it? What are we going to do? We need to go and find out what's going on in there. Then what am I supposed to do? You can come with us. Just stay behind so we can protect you. I wonder if the boys are all right. They'll be able to fend for themselves. You're right. We need to protect Afmau first. We can put her on a palm tree. She can pick coconuts. Mikey, are you stupid? Holy Mama's macaroni, what is it? What is this? Mikey, be careful. I think there's someone in there. Who's that? Mommy, Daddy, is it really you two? Mom and Dad? <gasps> Get away from our baby. Shame on you, holding a child captive. What are you talking about? We didn't hurt her. You're lying. It's true. They rescued me and helped me. They fed me and gave me my own room. It's true. We took care of her. Uh, it doesn't look like she's lying, honey. I think it's true, and they really helped her. I'm telling the truth. Do you believe us now? We took great care of her. Well, now that we've got that sorted out, we can leave. Afmau, get in the helicopter. Mikey, JJ, thank you for everything. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our daughter. It wasn't difficult for us. You have a very good daughter. Take care of yourselves. Put her in an archery class and she'll be a champion. Come and visit. We'll be glad to see you. JJ, I see you're attached to her. No way, I'm neutral. Why are you taking so long and tearfully seeing her off? All right, you're right. I really enjoyed my time with her. Hehehe, <laughs> looks like the boys are coming. What was that? What happened here? Afmau's parents have arrived. Where is she now? They took her and flew her home. Uh, sorry to hear that. I was just starting to like her. And I wanted to play with her today. She went home and she is very happy now. I hope she comes to visit us someday. We'll go on about our business then. See you later. See you guys later. So what do we do now? Okay, we got the food. Get it out and let's go cook it. Didn't you take the bow and meat from Amfo? Oh my god. I thought you were going to do everything. Okay, I think we can handle it. Seven months later... Oh, I always get so nervous before special events. All right, you have to make sure you wash your hands afterwards. 
Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. Mikey and I are watching a really cool sports channel right now. I'm going to run to Mikey's or I'm going to be late. Oh, hey, JJ. Hey. You've been in the bathroom too long. All the contestants have been announced. Oh, no. But you made it to the start of the race. Yeah, this is unbelievable. The anticipated 2023 race, Extreme Racing, is about to begin. They've got a Here, lot of obstacles on the course. our participants must not only ride fast, but also be able to control their motorbike well. Look at all these well. cool guys. And here comes Whoa, the signal look, to start the race. Started. Our competitors have started. Oh, my God. And they're all flying over all the small mountains as if they Go, didn't even two, exist. number two, you're the best. Our athletes perform oh, one of the that's not the coolest thing the they race, can do. The backflip. There are very few people who can do that. The final stage huh, is a road ride he's on riding on one wheel. wheel. Motorbike. That's so cool. I want to be able to do that too. I wish I could do that. Yes, I too congratulate all the riders on a successful race finish. Yeah. We'll definitely need motorbikes. Let's go outside. But Mikey, we're just kids. We can't play with these things. If you think you're a kid, fine. But I don't. I'm an adult. Oh, then I'm not a kid either. So, where do we find the bikes? Uh... Oh, Mom, hi. How are you? Hey, kids. Oh, Mom, hi. What's up? Well, we'd like to ride motorbikes. We're adults. Oh, no. <gasps> no, no, I forbid you all. You're all too young. Hmm. How could this happen? I'm an adult. Why don't you go for a walk outside? Oh, Mikey, I told you we're still young. I thought Mom was going to let us ride motorbikes. What are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. Don't feel bad, Mikey. We're too bored at home. Let's go play outside, just like our mom told us. That's right. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. There's a village nearby. We can go there. Adventures are waiting for us. JJ, I'm not having any fun at all. But Mikey... The village is that way, but I'm in no mood at all. Oh, my God. I hope there's at least something interesting there. Two hours later. This is the coolest thing we've ever made out of sand. So, did that sand help you come to your senses? Of course. I'm just happy. I'm so glad. Just look at this most beautiful sand castle. Uh, hmm. Its walls are made of sand, and it even has seashells inside for stability. Cool! You and me, JJ, we're pretty cool. Yeah! Oh, JJ, look over there! Hmm, what's in there? There's cool guys on motorbikes. I'm told they make the best coffee here. Yeah, I've heard about that too. Let's go taste it. I wish I could ride one of those bikes. Hmm. Hey, JJ, look. Let's go see those bikes up close. Whoa! I don't think that's a good idea. I'd love to see one up close. Uh, okay. Yay, come on, let's go get a closer look at these iron horses. I highly doubt that idea. Yeah, these two horses are really cool. Oh yeah, look at that engine. Well... Without equivocation, these are the best bikes. Wow. I wonder if it'll be all right if I touch it. Huh, I can find out right now while these two aren't here. Oh, I don't think they're going to sit in that cafe for too long. Nothing bad will happen, trust me. Hmm. Ah, you're scared. What? What did you say? <laughs> I'm not scared of anything, okay? I'll get on the bike first. No, I'm the first one to get on that bike. Oh, holy turtles, this looks so cool. Yeah, you're right, it looks amazing. I can't believe I'm sitting on one of these masterpieces of motorcycling. Yeah. Oh, JJ, we got a problem. Oh, uh, what? Hey, you, what's going on here? We've got to go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, fire it up, Iron. Let's go, JJ. Wait, look at those bikers. Stop! Huh, they'll never catch up to us. They've got legs and we've got wheels. Well... We're faster than them. Where are we going with you? Hmm, have you got any ideas about that? Yeah, let's do that cool stunt we saw on TV. Oh, yes, we do. Oh. We're going to build one of the toughest obstacles in the competition. It's going to be a mind-blowing stunt. That's right. We need to find a flat spot for that obstacle. Here we can build the best mountain to the sky that ever existed. JJ, does such a place even exist? Yes, and we will find that place for our dream to come true. Hmm, JJ, I think this is a good spot. Let's park here. Wow, you're right, Mikey. It's right by my house. Oh. <gasps> it's really quite flat. We were very lucky to have such a cool place close to my house. Yeah, imagine us flying through the air. The cool stunts will do. I'm looking forward to it too, but now we've got some work to do. You've started talking in verse. You imagined it. Wow, you had our shovels. Cool. Yeah, I picked them up when we were playing in the sandbox. Let's get to work. Let's go. <laughs> mm, I can only hear me working. Ouch. Mikey, give me a hand. Okay, okay, I'll build too. Don't fight. I wouldn't be fighting you if you'd just start helping me. Oh, hmm. Is three pieces of earth enough? No. <gasps> and what's earth got to do with it if we need dirt? Well, we need a lot more dirt, okay? Okay, okay. We're going to need a lot more dirt than three pieces of dirt because our mountain's going to go straight up into the sky. Wow. Let's go build. Oh, no, that's too long. Uh, five minutes later. Just a couple of finishing touches left and you're done. What do you think? This looks absolutely gorgeous. It's an amazing ski jump. That's right. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait to try it out. Go get your first ride, Mikey. Are you serious? Just be careful not to go too fast. Of course I'll be careful. You look amazing on that bike. Hee hee hee. I'll be the first rider to make a super jump off this high mountain. I'm gonna need your luck. All right, good luck. That's 
That's better. Everybody get ready. Go, Mikey. Here comes the best racer, Mikey. Yeah, he's picking up speed. Wow, JJ, I can't stop. Oh, no. Is that jump too high? Mikey? It's fun. <laughs> oh, hmm. Oh, there's something I didn't count on. I'm screwed. <gasps> oh, my God. I've got to get to him in case he needs my help. Hurry up, hurry up. I think it'll be a lot quicker to get to him on the bike. Come on, start up, Iron. I'm in a hurry. Hang on, Mikey. I'm on my way to you. My brother, where are you? Hmm. Oh, there he is. I can see him. Mikey, you fell from that height. Are you okay? I don't see anyone in the neighborhood. Oh, no. Mikey, wake up. Oh, my God. Don't leave me, Mikey. He's got a broken screen. And the bike's broken. It's because of that sports program. If it wasn't for that program, this wouldn't have happened to Mikey. Mikey, get up. Oh, right. I'll get help. Mikey, don't get up. I'm going to call a doctor for you. Come on, hurry up. Uh, okay, uh, number, yeah. Hello, my brother has fallen from a great height. He needs immediate medical attention. Get over here right away. All we can do now is wait. Mikey, I've called for help. You're going to get help soon. Hmm, here comes the ambulance. Yay, over here. We're here. I'm glad the help got here fast. Did you call the doctor? I'm the one who called you. So who's the victim? Please help him. He's fallen from a great height. A young man. Will you help him? Stop panicking. Uh, I'll take a look at him. Okay. There's a lot of external injuries. I have to take him to the hospital for treatment. Oh, no. Don't worry. The injury is not life-threatening as long as I rush him to the hospital. Okay. I'll put him gently in the car and we'll go straight away. Oh, my brother. Where can I find you? I'm taking him to the Seventh City Hospital. Your brother will be treated there. Take care of him. I hope Mikey will be all right. What am I supposed to do with this broken motorbike? Son, hey. Oh, Mom. What happened here? Mom, it's so good to see you. Something terrible has happened here. JJ, tell me exactly what happened and where Mikey is. Mikey and I were out for a ride and he just sped up. Ugh. And then bang. And then the ambulance took him away. JJ, I told you not to ride bikes. Mom, I'm so sorry. You can apologize to Mikey later. Where is he now? They took him to Hospital 7. Let's get over there. Oh, my boy, what's going to happen to you? Let's go there. JJ, that's exactly why I told you not to ride bikes. Hmm. Do you understand now? Yes, Mom. I should have explained it to you in detail. I'll always obey you now, Mom. Oh, no, my son. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mikey, how long will it last? Doctor, tell me, can he walk again? No, I can't feel my legs. It can't be. Oh, no. Dear, as you can see, your son suffered a spinal and lower extremity injury. He will need a little care and support. Well, I'll take care of my brother. That's wonderful. Well... That's all I'm saying. Don't get sick. Thank you. Well, boys, let's go home. Mom, is there anything I can do to help Mikey? It's been too hard a day for all of us. We need to rest. Why won't you answer me, Mom? Are things really that bad? Oh, hmm. Come on. <laughs> 72 hours later. Hey, look how cool my cubes are. And I have a sandcastle. Let's go play together. Yeah, come on. Life, it's just a series of disappointments. I can't keep running and jumping around like those kids in the yard. I'm so sorry about Mikey. <laughs> He's been sitting on the balcony for days. I've got to do something to cheer him up. I've got an idea. How horrible and unfair this world is. Oh, Mikey, I'll be right back. Okay, JJ. We'd better hurry or Mikey's only getting sadder. I don't like this at all. Hmm, I think I'll put it outside, right in our backyard. Oh, I really think that should make Mikey happy. I'll build him a mini ski jump that he can drive his wheelchair off of. I think it's perfect. Mikey will be able to drive in here and fly forward a little bit. Time to call Mikey. Hey, Mikey, get down here. What do you want from me, JJ? I want to show you something. You're going to love it. Nothing's going to make me happy right now. Let's go outside. I don't belong on the street. Wait, Mikey, you're going to love this surprise. Oh, hmm. All right, let's go. Yay, I'm so glad you said yes. JJ, I hope you're not joking. Of course I'm not kidding. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's a ski jump. Yeah, I built it just for you. But I broke down on one of those jumps. No, this one's smaller and safer. Try the ride, please. All right, I'll try it once. Call an ambulance if anything happens. Phew, I can do it. Let's go! Infinity's not the limit. Uh, what do you think? Wow, that was really fun. That's great news. Look, JJ, I'm totally fine. I'm so excited. Now I have fun in the yard, too. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, JJ. No need to thank me, Mikey. I'm glad I helped you in your time of need. How's our hero feeling? This is the coolest feeling I've ever had in my life. Are you going to be spending all your time near that ski jump now? I feel so much better. Huh. I can see you're enjoying it. I'll be riding here every day. I won't doubt it. Enjoy your life. Wow, that's great. Cool. 
<laughs> We're watching a program about real men. Huh, they're fighting on live TV. This looks super cool. I agree with you. Mikey, I'd like to be a boxer. Wow, JJ, you just read my mind. Huh, what? That actually looks really cool and fun. Mikey, when we grow up, you and I can be real boxers. Okay, okay, let's make a promise to each other. Yeah. I'm Mikey, and I promise that when I grow up, I'll be a real boxer. I promise I'll be a boxer, too. Great, now we have a dream in common. How cool is that? Cool. I hope we can make it work. I hope so, too. Ten years later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We're here for an exceptional fight between two brothers. And you've placed good bets on each of the two contestants. The fight promises to be exciting. In the left corner, brother Mikey. I'm the best boxer in this ring. My opponent is no match for me. Nicknamed Unbreakable. Yeah, victory is mine. And in the right corner, brother JJ. Thank you all for coming. I will win no matter what it takes. Just look. His nickname is Unstoppable. Oh yeah, no one can stop me from winning. Fight! Battle has begun. First into the fray, brother JJ. His unbridled fervor lives up to his nickname. But Mikey remains... Surrender, free. Mikey. My fists will destroy you. You give up first. You will no longer be indestructible. Our opponents, they're shouting a few phrases. Oh, yeah. And it's clear that only one will win. It's time to end this show. Oh, what? Yeah. Ah. Oh, here's our winner. Give a big round of applause for our winner. The Unbreakable Mikey. Yes, thank you to all those who believed in me. That was a great fight. Congratulations. Yay. It's so bright. Oh, where am I? Oh, I don't understand a thing. My head hurts so much. It's like some kind of hospital. Oh, that's right. I lost to Mikey. And oh, what's gonna happen now? And where is this hospital? There's a village nearby. How do I get back in the ring? Huh, you have other things to worry about right now. Hello, doctor. This room is for special occasions like yours. Uh... You have a severe concussion. No way! But if you take a couple months without fighting... But doctor... You'll be fine. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, I get it. Goodbye. Goodbye, thanks for your help. Guys, this is a terrible event. I guess I'm gonna have to forget boxing for a while. Hmm. Oh, where am I gonna go? Hmm. All right, I'll go this way. Oh my god, why did this injury have to happen to me? I finally managed to find my way out of that hospital. And I'm running toward the ring now. I want to see what's going on. Oh, hmm. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you all. Hmm. Thank you for such a generous award. Why did he get such a big check? Yes, it was a very easy win for me. Oh, he didn't even consider me a competitor. That's so hurtful and unfair. And now I can't even fight him again because of my injury. I was in that boxing tournament too, and I didn't even get a good job. I'm not just not fighting for a couple months. I'm going to stop boxing altogether. I'm going to sit on a bench all day enjoying nature. This is my life now. No other way. I've already made up my mind, but why does my soul hurt so much? Face it, JJ, you're not doing what you love so much anymore. Oh, I'm so angry and so sad. Why me and not Mikey? Hmm. Ah, oh my god. Hmm, you know, I don't really care anymore. Do whatever you want to me. It can't get any worse than this. Hmm, I'd like to say I'm surprised we came here. But I don't care at all. In fact, my life now feels like nothing without my favorite hobby. So I'm not resisting what's happening to me. Ouch! Oh my god! Hmm, I feel kind of weird. Eh, hey, okay, Skibbity Toilet, do whatever you want. Uh... Hmm, I think that makes sense to me now. First, I'm gonna avenge my loss to Mikey. And then I'm gonna destroy everyone in my path. There's only one strongest man, and that's me. I will destroy you all. Two hours later. I'm filled with anger. Where is my opponent? I will find you wherever you hide and destroy you. I've been in my brother's shadow for too many years. It's time to change this nonsense. Love you, la, 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 la. Finally came out of his hiding place. Are you that scared of me, Mikey? Oh, huh? You stupid wuss, I'm telling you. JJ, what are you talking about? You will not escape my wrath and despair. Stop! What? Attack! No, 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 JJ, stop! Punch! Punch! <gasps> punch! Help! JJ, stop it! I don't care. Uh, oh, huh? Hmm. JJ, I don't understand why you're doing this to me. You can't win this time. Now I have the power to defeat anyone. 
Mikey, you realize now you don't want to mess with me? I warned you! What? JJ, what's going on in there? Get away from Mikey! Right now! I warned him this would happen! Get away from him! You're out of your mind! If that's the way you want it, then I'm leaving you! Don't come apologizing to us! Do you understand me? I'll come back to get revenge on them! Oh! What happened? Why did JJ attack me? I don't understand! He's changed! He's gone bad! Mom! Dad! I have to tell you everything! But first, let's go home! Alright, son, and just don't scare us, okay? After our fight, he disappeared for a while. I'm sure he was infected. I thought it was the suit that made him so angry. But I saw a skibidist on him from behind. I'm sure it was him. We need to distract JJ and get the skibidist off him. It's a good plan. Five minutes later. Hey, JJ, fly to us. We recognize you for being the strongest. And to celebrate, Mom made your favorite steak. Look, it's true, son. I'm ready for revenge. I just have to meet them. Uh, what? Who's that yelling out there? JJ, fly to us. We have your favorite steak. Let's make peace. Here comes Mikey. Now I can get back at him. And no one's gonna stop me. Mikey, I'm coming for you. JJ, here's your steak. Go get it. Is that my favorite steak? I'm very, very hungry. JJ, you want that steak? Then you're gonna have to take it from me, or you'll never get it. Ha! Huh, easy! What? Let go! Come on, Mikey, do it while we got him. Hurry up, he's fighting back. I'm coming, but don't let him go. Hold him tight. Let me go. If you don't, I'll work with you too, and you'll be in a world of hurt from my power. JJ, don't be mad. We want what's best for you. We're gonna save you and make you look like your old self again. Good job. Yes, we did it. Now JJ will be as kind as ever. Mom. JJ, how are you feeling? All right? Dad. Son, is something bothering you? Mikey? Brother, I'm so glad. You're back with us. I don't remember anything. What? What's going on in here? Mikey, why are you holding the Skibidi toilet? I don't feel so good. Three hours later. Oh my god, my head hurts. What happened? I don't remember anything. How are you feeling, son? Did you get any sleep? Mikey's still resting. Guys, remind me in the comments what happened. Mom and Dad, please wake up Mikey. I want to apologize to him for everything I remember. Okay. Mikey, son, get up. JJ wants to tell you something. JJ, you're finally awake. I was so worried about you. I even fell asleep with those thoughts. You have no idea how glad I am to have you back with us. Mom, Daddy. Yes, son. We're listening to you very carefully. I would like to apologize to you, and especially to you, Mikey, for my disgusting behavior. I don't know what came over me, but I am very ashamed. That's okay. I know how to fix all of this. We'll have a fair fight between us. What? What fight? I forbid you to do that. You're going nowhere. JJ, get out of here. Wait, your mom told you not to. Bye, Mom. I said I don't allow it. After this, we'll be in trouble. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. JJ, just let's make a deal. No hard feelings after this fight. Okay, I agree. This time I'm gonna win it. Mikey, are we back in the same ring? Yeah, we'll have a friendly sparring session. What's the reward for the winner? The reward will be our friendship. Whoa, wait, that's a different venue. Huh, yeah, I wanted to surprise you with our customized ring. You did this on purpose for our sparring sessions? Yeah, that's just on us. I'm touched, Mikey. Huh, I'm glad to hear that. You're the coolest brother ever. Hee hee hee. Well, don't you want to try out our new boxing ring? Of course I do. Yay, I'll fight for the red team. But I don't have the urge. It's okay, I'm prepared. Wow, Mikey, you're awesome. JJ, you're a liar. Huh, don't know what you're talking about at all. Hee hee hee. But somehow I'm wearing boxing gloves, so I'm ready to fight. Huh, okay, JJ, I'm glad. Let's do it. Then take your corner in the boxing ring and let's get started on the bout. Huh, you'll regret wanting to fight a pro. Oh, I only see one professional in the ring and that's me. I'm talking about me. Yeah? Well, then prove you're not just saying that. Huh, don't worry. I won't disappoint you. Come on, give it your best punch. Attack! Don't dodge! Take the blow with dignity! Super, Super punch! punch. Ah. Oh, Mikey, that was the best fight we ever had. I agree with you. Shall we do it again? Yeah!
Here comes the penultimate concert of our all-time favorite star, Speaker Woman. Let's hear what the star has to say. Thank you all so much for coming out to hear me sing a song today. Tomorrow will be my last concert in this beautiful city. I look forward to seeing everyone. Love you all. See ya. Mikey, did you feel what I felt? Her music is just magical. It was the best concert we've ever seen on TV. I agree. I got goosebumps while listening to this beautiful music. It would have been cool to be at the concert. Yes, but the tickets are very expensive. Mm, but I want it so bad. We can only enjoy her beauty and music from a distance. Mikey, but just imagine mm. the scene, the scale. Okay, I agree. I'm bought off by what you say. Yay, then we have to go there. Hmm. Ah, are you waiting for someone? Hello, it's the mailman. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Hmm, and I didn't order anything. Maybe it's our dad. No, I don't think so. Then who could it be? He said he was a mailman. Oh, he keeps ringing our doorbell. It's annoying. Let's open the door for him. It's not nice to keep him waiting. Let's hurry up, because that sound is starting to annoy me. Okay, JJ, if I don't come back. Mikey, don't play tragedy. Hmm. Open the door. Okay, okay. Hello? Hello, who's there? Oh, good afternoon. I have an important letter. May I come in? Uh, I'm a little confused, but yes, you can pass. I don't get it at all. Greetings to the lucky fans who have had the opportunity to get free admission to a concert by a not unfamous star. Stop! What? Speaker woman. Oh my god. Holy turtle. JJ. It's just unbelievable. I'm just so shocked. I'm speechless. I understand how you feel. You were able to win such a large-scale contest. Cool. I congratulate you. <gasps> Here you go. These are your concert tickets. Our private tickets. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget, the concert is tonight. What, today? Yes. Why? Last night's program was on TV. Oh, I get it. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. JJ, just like you dreamed, we're going to the Speaker Woman concert. This is so cool. It's going to be a great show. I can't wait to get started. Mikey, we need to look at the start time of the concert. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to see. Wow, that's really soon. We should really hurry up, JJ. Yes, the concert starts in an hour, and we still have to get to the designated place. Blah, 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 blah. Well, then why are we standing here? Let's go over there. Uh, Stop standing there and let's go. Let's hurry up. JJ, which direction do we need to go? Now we need to go right. Okay, I got it. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, and JJ, I have a question. So what's your question? Can you bring your own food? Oh my god! Oh, JJ, you were right. We've only been walking for half an hour and we're here. Mikey, if you think this was an easy hike, I'm about to get mad. It's okay, don't worry. Wow, this place looks really, really cool. Let's go over there. Mikey, wait for me. JJ, we're here. Wow, for real? Yay! But I guess we're too early. No one's here yet. Those multicolored lasers look top-notch. I agree, it looks cool. I'd love to have one of these in my house. I wonder if we can go inside already. What are you talking about? Uh... We, as real fans, have to meet the superstar right here. Uh, okay. I'm overwhelmed with excitement. How long do we have to wait like this. It's so cold outside. Oh, JJ, that must be her. Wow, that's such a cool car. She's definitely here. Look at this. Wow. Oh, I'd love to have one of those cool cars, too. Hmm. Where's our star? You don't think it's her car? <gasps> oh, my God. Hey, everybody. Hey. I hope you're ready to rock tonight. Mikey, it's her. Oh. Excuse me. Can we film you for TV? Of course. Thank you. I'll ask a couple questions. Cool. Mikey, I don't believe it. This is so exciting. Will you take a couple pictures? Of course. I specifically brought my camera with me for tonight. Wow, Mikey. <laughs> yes, I spare no effort even for such small concerts. Mikey, take a picture soon. I'm trying. I'm trying. Come on. Do your best. There's no way I'm going to be without at least a souvenir photo. JJ, all the pics are done. Great, we're waiting for the show to start. What? <gasps> oh my god! JJ, they want to kidnap Speaker Woman. I can see that, Mikey. Why did they come here in the first place? Oh no, I don't think she was their target. Where are the gods? Mikey, we have to help her. I agree with you. Then let's go. It's horrible. Where were the gods? How did they get in here? I don't know. Hurry up, hurry up. Stop right there. Do you hear me, stupid toilet? Where are they going? Wherever they go, they cannot escape our justice. Wow, what powerful words. Mikey, it's not just words. I'll show you what I can do. There are so many of them. Working together, we can do this, Mikey. Very very scary. Attack if you have the strength. Come on, come on. JJ, look out. Mikey, I'll do it myself. Don't interfere. This is my fight. Let's go. You're the only one left, and I'll do to you what I did to your friends. JJ, you took him down with one punch. Oh. Respect. I agree with this boy. Are you all right? Oh, hmm. Please come to your senses. Oh, where am I? You were dragged away by the skibbity toilets, and I couldn't turn a blind eye and... Oh, so you're the one who saved me. I'm immensely grateful for you. Oh, courage. don't thank me. No, I can't leave my savior without gratitude. Hmm. Please, let's have dinner together. Huh, what? What do you say? Of course I agree. <laughs> How can I say no to the most amazing girl? Wow, that's her phone number. Call me a little later because they're waiting for me. Uh, okay. Lady speaker woman. Lady speaker woman. Hmm. Are you all right? Yes. It's a sensation. Hmm. Why did they want to take you away? Uh, JJ, is this exactly what I think is going on here? Yes, Mikey. I was able to get that girl's phone number. Wow. She said she wanted to have dinner with me. Wow, that can't be right. Watch this. That's pretty cool, JJ. Mikey, do you think I'm worthy of her? I think you need to dress up a little bit before you meet her. Great. Then I'm trusting you with everything. What? I'm counting on you. All right, JJ. I'll do my best. Cool. Oh, I still can't believe she's paying attention to me. Yeah. 
I hope she doesn't turn your head and you don't forget about your best friend, right? Of course, Mikey. I can't do that to you. Okay, let's go. Bye, my lady. Huh, JJ, you look so happy right now. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's because I'm really happy right now. My best moment ever. The next day... Guys, I've got the number of the speaker woman. We should call her and set up a meeting. Okay, I need to find she in the contact book. Hmm, aha, found it. I hope she gave her number. Just pick up the phone, please. I wish it was her real number. Hey, speaker woman, how are you? Hey, JJ, I'm good. How are you? Me too. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you, where are we going for dinner? Don't worry about it. My helicopter will come and get you where you need to go. Great. Well, I'm waiting for your helicopter so I can see you soon. Bye. Okay, I'll wait for you at the spot. Bye. I can't believe a helicopter is coming for mine. Not way. I can hear him already. I should get out of the house and meet him. There he is. He's so beautiful. I'm so lucky. I've never flown one of these. Hello? Speaker woman sent me to pick you up. She's doing everything. She can to get me to have dinner with her. Let's hurry up. I'm coming. Quickly. Well, I don't seem to have forgotten anything. Then we can go. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of buttons. It must be hard to control a helicopter. I could never do that. If you learn how to do it, it's not hard. Wow. It's so high up here. I now realize I'm afraid of heights. Well, or falling from it. Oh my god, we're finally here. I thought we'd never get here. Or worse, crash. Wow, this place is so beautiful. Oh, who's that? Welcome to Speaker Woman's Possessions. My name is Liam, and I am her butler. Hey Liam, can you tell me where I should go? I'll not only give you a hint, I'll even guide you. Follow me. That's why Speaker Woman sent me to you. Your dinner is ready and she's expecting you. Thank you, Liam. You're very polite. This is my job, and here we are. You look so beautiful today, Speaker Woman. Thanks, JJ. Have a seat. And you, Liam, you can be off for the day. I don't need you yet. JJ, why don't you say anything? Tell me, how did you get here? Don't be shy. Take everything you see. I cooked it myself. Thanks. Everything looks very appetizing. Got here great. I really thought we were going to fall, but it went well. I want to ask you something, can I? Of course you can. I'm not forbidding you to talk to me. Great, but can you get up? Cause I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry. It's not like I'm biting you. Just calm down and say what you want. Okay, I didn't want to rush, but I'm that kind of person anyway. Will you marry me? I realize it's too soon, but I love you. JJ, I love you too, and want to be with you. So, yes, I will marry you. I think we will make it work, and have beautiful children in the future. Four to six days later. Dear guests, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage ceremony of this beautiful couple, JJ and Speaker Woman. If anyone is against it, say so. JJ, you promised me you wouldn't forget about me. Speaker Woman. Are you ready to take this fine man, JJ's, as your husband? Yes, of course I agree. JJ, would you be willing to marry this gorgeous speaker woman? Yes, I agree. I'll be with her for better and or for worse. Then I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss. Mikey's standing there all upset. I'm gotta do something before the marriage is over. May I make a speech? Of course you can, darling. We will listen to you carefully. Thank you, my love. Oh, well, I'm worried. Is the microphone working? Can you hear me, Mikey? I'm so sorry we stopped being friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. Honey, if it wasn't for him, we never would have met. So we should thank Mikey, and I'm so sorry. JJ, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Of course I forgive you. We are best friends after all. I'm so happy for you that you found such a beautiful wife. Give me a hug, my best friend. Come to me, my friend. Mikey, I'm sorry again for forgetting about you. I'm so embarrassed right now. Don't worry about that, JJ. I'm so glad you didn't forget about me, even on such an important day in your life. It means a lot to me, my best and only friend. Thank you, Mikey. I am so glad. My husband has a friend like you. Thank you. 
Today we chose to play on the playground. We spent the whole day here and had fun. Yes, I like to play here. There is so much space and no one is here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So the whole area is at our disposal. Wow, you're shaving high. I like it here. I'm not afraid of heights and it's not that high, so it's not scary. Yeah, but you better come down. I'm coming down fine. It's evening and our parents are coming to pick us up so we can finish our pizza. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I want pizza. I think we can eat some. Yeah, we've still got a kala and a couple of little things left, so I think the parents are on their way. I hear them. We've been here all day, I think. Hey, kids. Hope you had fun. Yeah, we've been swinging on the swings and jumping off the swings. We've been having a lot of fun. We're here to pick you up. The sun's going down. It's time for you to go to bed in school tomorrow. Yeah, I think we should go. It's great that you understand. Of course we understand. So let's pack up and go home. Cool that we had so much fun and relaxed. Yeah, that's cool. Hopefully school won't be as boring as usual. I don't think so. Tomorrow's an easy class, so it'll be quick and then we can go play. Okay, kids, it's time for you to go to bed. Okay, we're going. But we have a little surprise for you. What? What's the surprise? I guess it's a little secret. Is that a cool phone? Is that a console? No. Wow, I don't even know what that could be. But we can't tell you what it is yet. I can't wait to find out what this is. You'll find out tomorrow. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Come on, I'm sleepy. Yeah, I'm really sleepy too. I want to go to sleep so we can go to sleep tomorrow and- Yeah, I can't wait to see what they're cooking. But be quiet, they're still downstairs. Maybe they're listening us. Find out what kind of surprise they have in store for us. But they seem to be discussing something. Whoa, be quiet. We can eavesdrop and find out what they have in store for us. You think that's a good idea? Of course I do. Okay, I think they'll like it. I don't know what they're talking about. They don't name anything. Just doubts and innuendo. I hope we have enough money. We have enough money. I don't want us to have money problems. Don't worry, it's not gonna happen. I got it all worked out. I don't understand anything. I guess we'll just have to wait till tomorrow and find out. Yeah, well, I guess I should go to bed then. They don't say what it is. Oh, it's so annoying not knowing what kind of gift they have in store for us. Yeah, that annoys me too. I hope that this is a mega cool and powerful computer on which we can play every day the most modern games. It will be very cool. I hope it's a cool phone like an iPhone or something cooler. Well, that would be pretty cool. The next day. These boring lessons are over. I'm so sick of hearing this lecture. I have to go outside. Parents are waiting for us where they will show us the cool surprise they promised us yesterday. What? What is it? Oh, like and subscribe. Yeah, it'll help everyone, so you should do it. Yeah, I did it a long time ago. It's cool. Yeah, I think so too. So like and subscribe. It'll help us show more of our adventures. Let's hurry up. Our parents are waiting for us. Yeah, I can't wait to see what kind of surprise they have in store for us. Me too. They're here now. Let's go quickly. I hope it's something really cool. Look. Hey, kids, we're waiting for you. Come here quick. Come on, hurry up. We're tired of waiting for you. Come on, let's go. I can't wait to go home and see the surprise. Well, I can't wait to see the surprise, too. You'll see it at home. It's so cool. It'll be a very cool surprise that you'll like. Yeah, you'll like him. I like him a lot, so I think you will, too. At least we like it a lot. Wow, we can't even imagine what we can all enjoy, and it's so cool. I can't stand still with anticipation. All right, get in the car. We'll sit right after you. JJ and I are going to get in the car. It's so cool. I don't even know what they're going to make, but it's going to be incredible. Yeah, I think so, too. It's going to be unbelievable. I hope everyone is so happy parents' gifts that you are delighted with because I'm incredibly happy. Okay, we're on our way. It's just a little while away, so get ready. You'll see surprise. We've been ready all day. We've been waiting for him. Yeah! We're finally home. Now we're coming, and they're going to show us the surprise they've been preparing for us. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm already excited to see what it's going to be. This will be a very cool gift for you. I I think you'll have a lot of fun. If it's a cool computer or a console, I'll be incredibly happy. Yeah, I'd love a phone or something too. Well, come on inside. I think it's time you showed him. <laughs> I can already feel something incredible right outside the doors. This is going to be very cool. I can't wait. Yeah, Whoa. it's definitely a cool and unusual surprise. So, where is it? Where's the surprise? I can't stand the suspense right now. Where is it? What is it? Did you hide it somewhere or is it in the house? You didn't find him? No, we don't see anything. Oh. Oh, don't worry, he's here. Is he? He'll come out to you, it's our surprise. Yes, he will. He's here, he's coming out now, he's worried. Don't push him, he's been worried since he got here. Is that a dog? Is that a cat? Is that a robot? Hey, hi! What it is? I was afraid to go out. Who are you? But your parents are very nice. They took them to the orphanage. Is that our dog? I'm Mikey. He's our new family member and your brother. Yeah, he's your brother now. Wow, okay, that was well. It's not what I was expecting. Hey, I was told I'd be sharing a room with you, so I think we'll be cool friends. He's gonna live in our room. Oh. He's gonna live with you now. Oh, okay. Well, 
Well, sure. We'll probably just go to our room and, you know, hang out. Do we really have to live with him? JJ, we need to talk. Let's go to our room. Yeah, we'll be right back. Hmm, they're not very happy to see me. Don't worry, they'll love you, I promise. What did I say wrong? Nothing, it's okay. I didn't say anything bad. You didn't say anything bad, you did good. Maybe I'm not what they expected or they're having a bad day. Don't worry, I think they just don't get it yet. Give them time and they'll love you. I hope they like me. They just haven't realized how cool it is to have another brother. Don't worry, they'll like you. Well, thanks. I hope so. These guys seem cool, but they didn't like me for some reason. Maybe I should go up to them again and say hi. Maybe they misunderstood me, and now we can get along a little better. Anyway, it's a lot cooler living in this house than in an orphanage with a bunch of angry kids. So yeah. I don't like this new foster brother at all. I'm annoyed with him too. I already have a stupid sister. Why do I need someone else? This is not the surprise you and I were expecting at all. Even your stinking phone would be cooler than Mikey. Hello, brother. Hello, sister. Let's be friends, because I don't have any other friends. Uh, friends? I don't think this is going to work out well. I don't think so. I mean, we're going to live together now. This will be fun. Oh my god, I'm so sick of you being so nice. No one here likes you. But I didn't do anything wrong. We don't care. You have to get out of here. Yes, this is our house, not yours. But where would I go? Go live on the street. Oh, yeah. Stupid Mikey. No! Ouch! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, Afmo. It seems like you hit that orphan too hard. I didn't mean to hit him that much. It looks like we're going to get punished by our parents for this. We need to wake him up without them noticing. Hey, Mikey, wake up. I just gave you a little push. A little push? He did a backflip in the air. I did it by accident. Oh, my God. What happened here? Why is Mikey on the floor? Is he resting? No, he fell down the stairs and rolled over here. That was rough. Please forgive me. It's all my fault. I didn't want to push him. Do you and Mikey have a disagreement? Uh, they don't like that I'm their new foster brother. Are you out of your mind? We told you to be friends. You must be one big friendly family. I understand. It won't happen again. Yes, please forgive us. We'll try to make friends with that stupid orphan. Don't call him that. He's your new brother. If I hear yelling again, we'll punish you. Now go be friends with Mikey. This is going to be very difficult. Oh my God. How hard is it for them not to swear? Shut up. You also piss me off. Everyone pisses me off. Oh my God. Our parents were never this mean. Yes, I'm very embarrassed in front of our parents. Come on. I don't take offense to you at all. Let's go play together. Uh, does he seriously think we're going to be friends with him? We just said that so our parents wouldn't swear at us. You have such a spacious and cozy room. In my orphanage, I lived in a dog kennel. You also have such cool toys. I'm going to play with them later. Hey, that's my computer. How many computer games do you have in there? Looks like he's making himself at home. By the way, I still need a place to sleep. And there's only two beds. Get your filthy feet off our beds. I washed my feet recently. Get out of my bed or I'll kick you again. You're being mean again for nothing. You're acting like a dirty, smelly, and uncultured dog. And where you tell me to sleep, you haven't prepared a third bed for me. Do you need a private bed? Really? Uh, yeah. Like every other normal person. Ha ha ha. For such an uncool person, we have something fun. There's a third bed? Oh no, it'll be too luxurious for you. We have hay bedding for dogs like you. Uh, but I'm a human being, not some dog. I need a normal bed. You stupid orphan, you're not our brother. We won't take care of you. You'll sleep here, right on the floor, just like the dogs. You should be thanking us for that. Oh, but I don't want to sleep here. We don't care about that. Orphans belong on the floor. They can't sleep on the couch. Oh my god, you're treating me badly again. I'd love to help you if you were in my place. It's a good thing we're not orphans like you. Uh, it's not even comfortable standing here. The hay's too scratchy. Ha ha ha. You're lying funny on the floor there. It's time to get you a collar and a dog bowl. That's not funny. Ha 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 ha. That's funny how you humiliate him, JJ. We can't treat him well. Oh yeah. The next day. Today, Mikey and I are going to the playground where our friends are waiting for us. I heard they put a new swing set in there. You want to ride them? Yes, of course. You'll have that opportunity if they're not already occupied. Let's hurry up before anyone else takes a swing. I hope we have plenty of time to ride the swings and play soccer. I haven't exercised in so long. It seems like the swings are already taken. The boys are already on the playground. I'm not very happy about it. Come on, let's go say hello. I'm not really sure I want to do this. It doesn't take much time at all. And we'll move on to another playground. Hey guys. Hi, what are you doing? We tried out the new swing, it's awesome. That's great. We were just on our way to ride them. Then you should definitely take a ride on them. We'll definitely give it a try. What are we going to do? How about hide and seek? I love this idea. Hey, look at this, there's a cab coming. I wonder who's riding in it. 
And we're about to find out. I didn't know anyone had bought this house. Well, maybe they didn't. I think someone's getting out of the car. Thank you. Have a good day. Wow, she's so beautiful. Look at that. Looks like new neighbors. We should go out and welcome our new neighbor. I agree with you. But we wanted to play. Mikey, it won't take us long. We'll just say hello and go on playing. Yes, and no more. Let's go. All right, but let's do this real quick. What are we going to tell her? Just say hello and tell her we're her neighbors. All right. Well, let's get this over with as quickly as possible. You're always in a hurry, Mikey. Yeah, because I want to go for a walk, not walk around the neighborhood. Mikey, you can be an insufferable bore. Shut up, Nico. Good afternoon, how can I help you? Hi, are you our new neighbor? Yeah, just moved into your neighborhood today. What's your name? My name is Afma, what's yours? My name is JJ, and these are my friends, Mikey, Nico, and Cash. Well, well, it looks like we're in for something very interesting. Seems like there's a reason I'm here. Let's have some fun. This is going to be very funny and fun, watching all of you. Let's give her a warm welcome. Two hours later. That was a nice walk, wasn't it? I agree with you. It's getting late. Why don't we go towards the houses? Yeah, let's go home already. What do you think of our new neighbor? She's very sweet. She seemed very friendly to me. I really liked her too. I'll have to try to make better friends with her. Let's go see her tomorrow. Yeah, let's go. Holy turtles, what are they? Let's get out of here. Oh my God. JJ, be careful. There you are. I have a surprise for you. May you be in love forever. I don't understand anything. What are you doing? I'm going to be very interested in watching this. What are you talking about? Let the game begin. Ha ha ha. Who the hell are you? I don't get it. What happened? Where did he go? Has anyone realized anything? I didn't understand anything at all. Could it be some kind of psychopath? Perhaps, but then what was he smashing in front of us? I have no idea, but frankly, I don't care either. You never think of the consequences, don't you care? We should probably go home. Yeah, good idea, let's go home. We'll see you next time. All right, bye. See you tomorrow, bye. Mikey, let's go home already. Yes, JJ, let's go. I'm going back to the swings tomorrow. That's a good idea, but who was this weirdo and what did he smash? Forget it. Well, here I am at home, it's been a fun day. What is this feeling? Stop, I don't want to go home. Like, I don't want to go home. It's like I'm being pulled somewhere, that's right. I got it. I want to go to Aphmau, I'm in love with her. Write in the comments if you've ever fallen in love with someone. In the meantime, I'm going to go see her. Now I just have to go in and get her some flowers to give her. I bought the most beautiful bouquet for her. Friends, I really hope she likes it. You can support me by giving me a like. I feel really bad about it, but I love her very much, so I will pursue her. Afmau, open up. It's JJ. I want to talk. Maybe she's not home right now. I think someone's coming. Hello. How can I help you? Mikey, what are you doing here? I went to Afmau's place and have a very nice time with her. Hi, JJ. Did you want something? Yes, I'm here for you, but I don't understand what you're doing together. It's nothing like that. Afmau, this is for you. I'm in love with you. JJ, what are you doing? Thank you, of course. It's my pleasure, but, uh... Afmau and I are together, JJ. You have to leave. What do you mean? When did you have time? Bye-bye. I don't understand anything. How did this all happen? Tell me in the comments if you have a friend who also stole your girlfriend. Well, I'm gonna go home now. There's nothing more for me to do here. What? What are they doing here? What are you doing here? We've come to Afmau. We wanna tell her we love her. Well, then you're too late. There's nothing left to catch. You've been beaten. And we're gonna go in there and say... And you'll just be wasting your time. I don't know what they're doing. Hey, JJ, you can never give up hope and give up. But that's certainly no reason to go there. Well, too bad about those good folks. Well, good luck to you. I'm going home. Maybe I'll think of something. See you later, friends. Hi again, guys. At my leisure, I thought hard about what to do next and decided that I would eliminate all my competitors. It won't be very easy, but I have to do it for Afmau's sake. I'll start with the most brazen and dangerous. Then I'll take out two more. I'll kidnap them while they sleep and lock them in a cage. And all this to be with Afmau. I love her very much, and nothing can stop me. Well, it's time for me to start executing my plan. I'll ask her out later. All right, Mikey, you're the first one I'm gonna get my hands on. The key is to be very quiet. In, grab, grab, get out, without making too much noise. I hope he's asleep by now. Afmau will definitely be mine. JJ, what are you doing here? <laughs> The first one's done. Two more to go. I'll just get this one to the cage. When did you get so heavy, Mikey?
Well, well, here come the last two. It's time to call it a day and go to Afmau. That's it, my goal is accomplished. No one can stop me now. Now I can get what I want. Wait for me, Afmau, you will be mine. JJ, what are you up to? Let us out. No way, you're gonna sit here. Don't do anything stupid, let us go. You all would prevent me from being with Afmau. I should be the one with Afmau. None of you will be with her. I'll go to her right now. Let us go, we're going home. I don't believe you, you're all lying. We'll just go home. You don't have to keep us here. Stay here quietly. I'm going to Afmau. I have to tell her I love her. JJ, you're going to regret this. Nothing and no one can stop me. And so let's try again. As long as he listens to me. I hope she's home now and I didn't come for nothing. Oh, well, I'm actually very excited. Afmau, open up. It's me, JJ. Maybe she can't hear. I'll call again. Come on, open the door. Please open the door. Afmau. What, what's wrong? Who's breaking in like that, JJ? You want something? Hi, I'm here to talk to you about something. Oh, you scared me. Well, come on in the house. Let's talk. Thank you. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yes, I'm listening to you. I've thought long and hard about what I need to say. I'm here to confess. I'm in love with you. JJ, this is so unexpected. I feel special about you too. I'm glad you said that. Do you mind if I take you to a restaurant? Of course, I'd be happy to spend the evening with you. Great, I'll make a reservation at a high-end restaurant. Okay, then I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you at the restaurant. It was good to see you, see ya. Likewise, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Tomorrow will be the best day ever. I can't wait to go to the restaurant tomorrow. Hey, losers, how you doing? What did you do with Afmau? It's no big deal. It's just that while you're sitting here and not bothering me, she and I are going to a restaurant tomorrow. <gasps> All right, JJ, you've had enough. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna give you a hard time. How dare you do this? The strongest man wins. Then open the cage and I'll show you who's the strongest. You'll sing differently. You guys are so funny. I'm gonna go get ready for my date. The next day. There's the restaurant I was telling you about. You like it? I like it a lot, it looks great. I'm glad to hear that. You look great today. Oh, thank you, JJ. I'm so glad you invited me here. Thanks for agreeing to come. Let's go inside. Wow, he's so big and handsome. I knew you'd like it. I chose responsibly. And you weren't wrong. Very happy to hear that. Where do we go? Hello, do you have a reservation? Good evening. Yes, I called you and made a reservation for two. Is there a problem? No, no, no problem. Your table was just about to be set. Follow me. All right, let's go. Do you have any drink preferences? I could use some fresh squeezed orange juice. Okay, I'll write it down for myself. Follow me this way. What a beautiful place you have prepared for us. We're happy to try. Thank you so much. It's all very beautiful here. I'll be right by your side if you need anything. Now I'm off to get your juice. All right, thank you. I'm waiting for the juice, thank you. So how do you like it here? I've never been to a place like this. But his beauty still doesn't compare to yours. Thank you, JJ, you are just wonderful. Why don't we go to my place after the restaurant? Sounds like a good idea, I agree. All right, then finish your food and let's go. And here's my humble cabin. It looks great. Thank you, I built it myself. Wow, that's great. What would you like to do at home? I would love to see some movie in the detective genre. Okay, then we'll see. JJ, is there any way you can explain that? Oh, I just forgot. We're playing with them. Don't believe him. He's completely insane. He locked us in here. And he didn't even feed me. You can see for yourself on this wall. It's not a game. They're all lying. They wanted to stop me from being with you. That's just disgusting. Look, we don't have to lie. We're the ones in the cage. Okay, I'm tired. Let the police handle this. 911, what's your emergency? You don't have to. We need the police. We've got a kidnapper. Help us. We're locked in. Shut up. The police will be right with you. Well, that's it, JJ. It's behind you. It's the police. Everybody stay where you are. Officer, it's that red guy. It's his fault. You're under arrest. I'm innocent. It's all you. You kidnapped us and locked us in here. It's all lies. I didn't do anything. I believed you were good. You disgusting, JJ. It's not my fault. Let me go. You'll be telling that at the station. Now you're going to be in a cage. It's karma. You'll know what it's like when you do that to your friends. That's what you need, JJ. You'll be in a cage. In a lot longer than we have.